Um, I'm Christina Wang. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm running to be DSG president. I would say my single biggest priority if I win is changing the relationship that DSG has with student groups and student activism. I think that DSG should take a much more active role in uplifting the work that student groups are currently doing and serving as a much better liaison with admin to where we can hold admin accountable. Um, and I think that that's important because all the other items on my platform um, really in the end come down to issues that student groups on campus are already working on, are already passionate about. I really want to uplift their work and it's not about me and the work that I want to get done. It's about me and DSG being better in uplifting the work that student groups are doing and actually being the representative um, and supportive group that we are meant to be um, in that arena. I think that one of my biggest accomplishments so far has been the work that I did over the summer. I think responding to the COVID pandemic was really important to me. I wanted to do as much as I could to be helpful. And so that resulted in a lot of hours of kind of um, triaging with the DSG members that I was working with to work on the student government survey with grading policy, writing the resolution to admin with the grading policy, circulating a petition, um, and that was really crucial to pushing back the deadline for SU policy. Um, I would say other things that came out of this summer were Blue Devil Buddies, um, which was, I think, really instrumental in helping create community for first year students um, who are coming into this campus with no one really here. Um, so I'm really proud of that. And I'm also really proud of the ideas that came out of the work I did this summer with the Ombuds Office, writing a proposal for that after being on the Hate and Bias Working Group, and then also creating the idea to create um, a student advocate's office. So that's meant to be like a one-stop shop for students to receive peer support on any institutional issue at Duke. Yeah, um, there's a lot of things that DSG has done that I disagreed with. I think over the summer, um, there was a lot of contention about what, like at what point should DSG release a statement? How far um, should we go in kind of being vocal about our support? And I think a lot of that came down to deadline with, you know, Duke was publishing um, kind of statements about mental health during the pandemic. And I really wanted to center a lot of um, the conversation around anti-racism, anti-blackness at Duke, um, how DSG can do a much better job of supporting student groups, um, especially black students on campus. And I really disagreed with one of the decisions that we made to push back writing a resolution and a statement on that. Um, I wanted it to be done as soon as possible, but I think other members of my exec felt like, you know, this is like this issue can wait. We should address the pandemic first type thing. Um, and I think moving forward, I definitely want to make sure that these student issues are a priority. Um, and yeah, just being a lot more forceful about my opinion, because we did end up getting the statement out. We did end up doing a lot of the work that I wanted to see done, but um, and it was definitely a team effort. But yeah, I would like to see a little more um, active of an approach from DSG. I honestly, my favorite study spot is First Floor Perkins because I go there to socialize and I don't get any studying done, but it honestly is like the cornerstone of my Duke experience where I see everyone on first floor. I'm just chatting away. Sometimes I cry, but mostly it's a good time and I miss it a lot.